How did you know I was in my late 30s? The changes in the skin, the little bit of tricep fat. The hip changes. I've always been a bit obsessed with age. I'm 22 years old. <laughs> I would consider old like 28. You're not getting the cat call, the cat whistles when you're walking down the street and stuff like that. Hello. I was highly aware that I had an expiration date as a woman. Did your mother ever get phone calls from women who, uh, from patients of your dad that were in love with him? Hello there, how are you? I am the daughter of a plastic surgeon. Going well? But I have to say, looking back at this now, it seems like the innocent days. Today, the American anti-aging industry is a $60 billion year business, and it's everywhere, telling me how I can reverse time with ointments, injections, lasers, and little surgical lifts. Probably 35,000. Well, um, my movie producer is here from New York, and she's filming me. Get rid of the saggy eyelids. You combine getting rid of the big, fat turkey neck and being bald, and the aging process really, I thought, reversed. I showed that photograph to a student once, and they said, what happened? And I said, age. Once I grew up a little, I started doing things to the way I look to cover my age. I'll simply spend anything on products. This is called the Galvanic Spa. It attracts like a magnet. If it makes you feel like you've got some tiny bit of control over this process, ah, what's the negative? What I was seeing out there in the stores were cosmetics that are supposed to have drug-like benefits. None of them documented scientifically. I'm not likely to get something installed, maybe just something lifted. If you're getting a little bit of aging on these upper eyelids. I don't know if that bothers you or not. Do you see how these are starting to come down? Mm -hmm. How old are you when those start to come down? Right away. Well, that's unacceptable. Does that ever bother you? Yeah. See, there's that skin. That's oh, yeah. Like... You know, when you look at all of the happiness studies, money and looks are never on the list of what makes you happy. What makes you happy is self-esteem, self-esteem, and self-esteem. Hey, if I had a chance to walk on the streets of gold and be young all over again, where do you think I want to go? Streets of gold. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Instead of the old folks home, I want to go to the old folks home and eat that bad food.